This is a 73-year-old man who underwent in uh, August uh, 2018 for a spleno and caudal pancreatectomy for an adenocarcinoma, R2 resection. It was classified PT3 and 1M1. He also had uh, chemotherapy uh, that is uh, still ongoing and uh, recently developed uh, jaundice. Uh, the laboratory test uh, showed uh, elevated bilirubin at 4 mg per deciliter, but uh, no normal range of CRP. The MRI show a CBD stricter, as you can see in the imaging, with upstream dilation, uh, with a probable local recurrence. So the patient is scheduled today for an ERCP with biliary uh, SEMS. And we will join now Dr. Costamagna and Barthé will perform this uh, procedure. Hello. Uh, good Hello. afternoon. We are here in the uh, ERCP room. With uh, I'm with Mark Barté, uh, Laila, Sonia, and uh, Carlos helping me. And I'm waiting for a, a, a catheter, which of course will be a bendable catheter, a sphincterotome. And uh, as you can see, I'm in front of the papilla, which looks quite normal. So uh, now let's see if I, I'm able to cannulate a single orifice. Uh, as usual, I, I prefer to have a small injection of contrast to see the anatomy. So usually, if you don't pacify mm, either the guide wire. But from, from here, you look to be much more perpendicular than you were at the beginning uh, from the papilla. From the x ray. Ah, yes, that's. That's better? You like it more? I like more, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and do you prefer a straight or uh, J-shaped, angled, angled it's guide angled. wire? I start always with an angle. Okay. Lila? Yes. Nothing? Yeah, no? yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Probably the pancreatic duct, no? Yeah, somewhere. There's the pancreas. Pancreas. The pancreas. But now you, saw, you, you know the orientation? What do you suggest? To leave the guide right here and take another one, or...? Uh... What would you do at home? Well, usually if I get the pancreas, uh, can you, can do, you have to insert more, eh? if you want to show the double Oh, no, 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 that's the bileduct. This is no, the bileduct. That's the bileduct. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so the <laughs> you can release. We will uh, go inside. I usually go, try to go over, we opacify, okay. And you but the, the, the nurse usually may do that, just that you are not too happy immediately, then they stay a little bit in the lower part of the bile duct, and then they, they show you that it's the bile duct. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can inject? She yeah. wants you to wait. I, I want to see the, the level of the stricture, okay. Now you see it, okay, stop. Just, yeah, just about I the come back. Hole. You stay up with the guide wire, of course. We will perform a small sphincterotomy. So why do you think it's, you think it's a lymph nodes uh, just... Uh, no, uh, uh, there is a uh, mass. The basis of the... There is a mass, there is a mass. Forming. There is a mass? Yes, oh, yes okay, a mass forming a mass. structure. So now to perform the sphincterotomy, I used to block with my uh, left hand, uh, the elevator, in order to have uh, stability between the endoscope and the sphincterotome. And then uh, uh, by putting my right hand on the shaft of the scope, as you can see, I can direct by torquing the scope and by uh, pulling or uh, pushing the scope, I can release pressure and direct my cut. Concerning the length, uh, usually this kind of stricture of the lower or mid part of the combi duct uh, are uh, um, well uh, palliated with a six centimeter stent. Yeah, th this is, agree? I think, an important message because eight centimeter is, from my experience, always too long. Uh, you approach long. the hilum yeah when you place the eight centimeters, six is fine for this. Uh, in, the, in this particular case, a six centimeter will be probably 
just good, but not definitively just at the limit. And there is also something to keep in mind that uh, you have seen uh, uh, yesterday, uh, that depending on the, the brand of stand that you use, the, the actual length after yes. implantation is different. Right, yeah. Yeah. In this particular case, if you place a wall flex of 6 cm, it should be okay. Yeah. If yes. you choose an evolution, you, choose, you should choose an evolution of 8 cm. And then, uh, I know that the, the, the length of the stand is the same when you open on the table, but during deployment, this can vary uh, really uh, from one brand to another. Just a, just a question for yes. you, Bido. Yes. How can you, we explain the discrepancy between the left uh, hepatic channel and the right yes, hepatic you're channel? Right. You're right. Because one is very enlarged very and the light. other, the other no. uh, maybe is not well maybe opacified. Maybe we, we have another uh, location in, at the island of the, of the, of the liver? No, we have two stenosis, not. maybe? Apparently not. But, but MRCP uh, didn't maybe, show maybe a second it's stenosis. It's only a question of uh, insufficient opaci or, uh, opacification. Huh? Maybe. Mm. And can you explain when uh, how to decide between uncovered, fully covered, partially covered SAMs for this indication? Uh, fully covered, I think, is uh, mainly uh, indicated in, in benign uh, disease because uh, they are removable. Uh, partially covered, uh, mm, probably in cases of uh, uh, cholangiocarcinoma that that, has, that might have uh, the features of uh, um, non-infiltrating, but yeah. uh, um, I, I don't I don't remember the term now, uh, vegetating uh, uh, lesion. But uh, all the, the studies and meta-analysis show that uh, apparently there is no difference between uh, uncovered yeah, and yeah. Uh, partially covered and uncovered. Maybe about the risk of, of cholecystitis and the pancreatitis. Yes, but, but uh, for the sure. uncovered... Not sure, uh, it's not clearly no. demonstrated. So uh, we can start releasing the stent. You see I have the, the, the yellow marker here that indicates the end of the stent that I have to keep under, under vision, so you can start releasing, okay. Uh, and uh, usually when you start releasing, the stent tends to, to go in, so you have to keep it with your right hand, open, open the, uh, the elevator. So and this now, is a wall flex nice. uh, This uncovered. is a wall flex, yes. And as you see, uh, the, the stent is just uh, level with uh, this uh, uh, right branch, so it, might, it should be okay.